Hello everyone. Today I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about vinyl. First, we'll be starting with the difference between HTV, heat transfer vinyl, and adhesive, sticky vinyl. This is adhesive vinyl. You can use it on hard flat surfaces like mirrors, windows, or even cars. Adhesive vinyl is pressure sensitive. Once you press on it, the adhesive will activate and it will stick to the surface. This is HTV. HTV works excellently on materials like cotton and polyester. Unlike adhesive, HTV is not pressure sensitive, which means no matter how hard you press on the vinyl, it will not stick to your surface without the right amount of heat. Now, you might be wondering how to tell the difference between the two. Adhesive will have a paper backing on the back side of the vinyl. This prevents the glue from sticking to things you don't want it to stick to. In comparison, HTV has a transparent plastic carrier sheet which protects the vinyl and allows you to make precise cuts in the material. This brings us to cutting your vinyl. There are several wonderful machines designed for cutting your vinyl. Cricut, Silhouette, and Brother Scan and Cut are some of the most popular ones and for good reason. They are super user-friendly and very affordable. Choosing the right machine for your needs can be tricky. We recommend doing a lot of research before you purchase. Machines like these run hand in hand with design programs that allow you to create anything you can imagine. If you'd like to learn how to create your own designs, check out our video on how to use Cricut Design Space. After you cut the design, you'll need to remove the excess materials. This is called weeding. The easiest way to do this is by using a weeding tool or tweezers to pull up all of the extra vinyl. We recommend using scissors to cut around your design first. That way you don't waste vinyl. Applying your vinyl. To apply adhesive vinyl, you'll need something called application tape. Today, we're using transfer rate grid application tape. Place this on top of your cut design and remove the paper backing to essentially turn it into a sticker. Next, all you need to do is apply it to your substrate. A substrate is any surface or product you're adhering your vinyl to. Once you've applied your sticker or decal, you need to apply pressure to the entire surface of your vinyl. The best way to do this is by using a felt tip squeegee. To apply HTV, you either need a heat press or a home iron. Today, we will be using an iron. Every style of HTV has a specific temperature and time frame to properly adhere it to your vinyl. Make sure you know what vinyl you're using and that you look up the proper application settings for your vinyl. We are using Caesar Easyweed, so we are going to press for 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure you always cover your vinyl with a heat transfer cover sheet or multi-purpose paper to avoid damage to your vinyl. Now that we're done pressing the vinyl, all you have to do is remove the transfer sheet and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this video answers a lot of your questions. If you'd like to learn more about how to use our products, visit crafthtv.com slash how to.